All right, guys, it is Kay Jones up in here. I'm gonna start in hardcore Iron Man. I'm nervous about this and excited. His name is Zuckus Fuckus. <laughs> I love it. And uh, I'm really excited about this. All right, guys, so I already got some levels. I got 26 fire making and 22 wood cutting, but we're gonna need to start the cook's assistant and sheep share. So that's like the number one thing we're gonna do here. What am I to do? What's wrong? So here we go, starting from the beginning. If you guys wanna make a hardcore with me, that'd be really fun. You can join my CC, uh, Sarthon. Uh, the information is in the description below. So this is gonna be really good, guys. All right, Freddy boy, we're gonna start your quest too while we're over here. I'm looking for a quest, sheep share. Oh my god, I haven't done this stuff in a while. I did it on the heart, uh, the ultimate not too long ago. Twenty balls of rules, uh, wool. All right, let's get these done. All right, chickens. I need some egg. I think just one egg, right? I don't know if we have to cook, actually cook the cake or not. So I'll get two eggs, and I need some of this wheat for y'all that don't know. When you make a cake you need flour egg and milk and to make flour you pick this wheat yeah because the iron you can't use the ge so you know what i'm saying you need to pick some of this wheat and you put it in that wheat hopper that's in this large door i don't know how much i'm making here i don't think i need that much also as a hardcore i'm always gonna have some kind of food on me that is like equivalent to my level so and guys, I decided to make this hardcore because one, I've already maxed my Iron Man, but two, um, I wasn't like a fan of the death mechanics, you know? So if you just don't like the death mechanics in the game, play hardcore, right? You know, if you don't like, if you want more of a challenge, it's just time for me to take the hardcore level while I AFK and get XP on my um, main account. Oh shit, I forgot to grind this. So once you put that shit in the hopper, you fill, wait, what the hell do you do? It's been so long. Oh, hopper controls. You operate them, that's right. And then you get your flour, which you can put in a pot. I only have one pot, so if this cake burns, that's gonna be sucky. Another thing is like, I know most people like to be efficient and use a hardcore guide. I don't plan to. I kind of just plan to do my thing. I maxed my Iron Man without a guide and I feel like it was just fine. I just kind of played the game and enjoyed it. That's what I'm going to do with my hardcore and I ooh, I almost just sheared a ram. Um, and I feel like it'll be fine, you know, so this is going to be fun and I hope my CC they're making hardcore irons with me and I feel like it's going to be a really big blast. Alright Fred, what are you doing on my- What are you talking about, fool? You told me to get you some freaking wool. Yeah, rude. Just take the take it and give me my quest points. Yeah, you better pay me, fool. 150 crafting XP. That's pretty good. Did I- Three crafting? That's why it's so good to do that quest. So now we need a bucket and we need to milk some cows. Uh, there's not a bucket in this pen, right? Am I crazy? I won the game. There's a noob, though. Yeah, I don't think there's a bucket in here, so we're gonna buy a bucket and then get to milking. Oh, dude, yes, we got a random event. I love doing these random events at low levels because, honestly, you get some pretty good loot from it. It's not like as an ultimate you're limited to your inventory, you have a bank, so it's best to do these for, like, you know, the gems and whatnot. Alright, let's check it out. I got five emeralds. Boom shaka laka laka. Alright guys, I got five thieving which will allow me to do tea stalls which are in Varrock and they're super good. I think silk stalls too? I might be wrong but I know, yes, no, 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 sorry, just the tea stall. Those are really good and the cake stalls which are in Artie which are also very good. So I'm not really working on combat yet because... Um, it's easier to do winter trot with lower, <clears throat> you know, com or lower food supply, but I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. All right. I got the ingredients for the cook. Looks really good. Um, 
So yeah, I think that you don't even have to make the cake. I couldn't even remember. 300 cooking XP, I'll take it. Pretty good. I started the clue scroll quest. It's like X marks the spot and you start with beginner clues and stuff. I don't know if there's any dangerous foe along the way though. So I'm not very sure yet. I'm not sure if I'll like actually go do that though. We'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, I finished X marks the spot and I got an antique lamp. I don't even know if I can use that. Um, what the hell would I use that on? Rune crafting? Oh, I have to clean, complete rune mysteries. Interesting. Drake, Drake. Oh, there's so much stuff I gotta complete. Okay, well, I'll just hold on to that lamp, I guess, for now. Okay. Okay, I didn't record this, but I've been kind of like working on Pirate's Treasure. Um, so I'm gonna be finishing that quest. I started Romeo and Juliet. So I'm kind of working on quest and I got 16 thieving by basically doing the tea stalls, stall, tea stalls, oh my gosh, the tea stalls in Varrock. So I did that and that was good. And Romeo and Juliet, it's a super easy quest. So I thought I would just start it and at least get most of the way through until I get to the ingredients part. I don't think it requires anything too crazy. I know it's cadaver berries and something else. All right, guys, we just finished Romeo and Juliet, so that's dope. That's a really quick quest, and it's so many quest points, so I was like, why not, you know? Okay, here is pirate treasure. Well, shit. I didn't expect me to be hit by a freaking level four gardener. What? Can I dig again? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm getting smacked, dude. I didn't know this quest had a level 4 gardener on you. Oh! I guess this apron isn't really doing much work. Two minutes later. Oh! Bitch healed! Come on. Eat the food! Three minutes later. He just despawned on me. What the hell? I didn't even have to kill the dude. He got so tired of attacking me, he just despawned. <laughs> I've never had that happen in a quest where you're fighting something. It's just like, despawn. You're taking too long. You can be done. So, one. Okay, cool. What is in this chest? I think it's like some ammo. Okay, cool. Cool. That was a good quest. Um, I got 20, 10 quest points now. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Maybe like Shield of Arab or something. You know, I just realized every time I play RuneScape, I look like Jack shit. Because like, I don't have any makeup on, I'm wearing a t-shirt, I just got done with house chores or working out and I'm just like in my comfort zone. And that's not really a good way to like record videos. So all I wanna say guys is my bad and when you see me looking good, y'all are being blessed for the day, for the day because that's a rarity. Let's continue. All right, guys, so right now I'm trying to get 15 mining for Doric's quest. I'm wanting to try to get to do the Arduin Easy Diaries, too. So I'm going to need some snake grass and rune mysteries completed. But while I'm over on this side of RuneScape, I'm going to try to do, like, Doric's quest and, like, the Witch's Potion and some easier quests before I try to get those Ardy Diaries done. All right, guys, Doric's quest completed, and we got some juicy mining XP, and now I'm 19 mining. All right, so I'm doing the Witch's Potion, and if you have a really good cooking level and you cook meat and you don't burn it, just use it on a furnace again, or a range, and it will burn it. All right, let's turn in this quest. All right, drink from the cauldron. Aha, and some magic XP. I am now for magic. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go continue the Ruined Mysteries quest, and I got all of the beads for Int Catcher. Um, so on my first Iron Man, which I started three and a half years ago, that I now have maxed, Int Catcher took me literally forever. I think I got like four red beads, six white beads, 
and two black beads and like I could not get the yellow for the life of me. It was like insane. I think that this quest on my original Iron Man literally took like maybe four to five, six hours and I'm not even exaggerating. My luck was so bad. On my ultimate it was pretty decent and here I got really lucky with the beads. I got them really quickly and of course I've always like killed imps and lumbridge you know as i'm doing other stuff too so i'm sure that helps but yeah we're gonna turn this in hopefully get the amulet of accuracy which is great for range and magic xp all right guys this quest is so essential if you're a lower level because this amulet of accuracy is so good i mean i think it's the best thing you can have until like an amulet of power i'm pretty sure all right and 10 magic just like that T one to ten magic just through quests you know easy as that guys um so now i'm gonna go talk to that wizard downstairs for rune mysteries okay i completed miss Thelen mystery and just got some crafting xp and um just wanted to knock it out since it's a free to play quest so good to go all right goblin diplomacy completed five quest points gold bar and crafting xp i think i got a crafting level yeah very nice Alright guys, so now I'm doing the Stronghold of Security because I got 16 HP and I think the max hit of the highest levels in here is 15, so I'll have 1 HP to go ahead and eat um, if that happens, but let's hope for the best and hope that I don't die, so here we go. Alright guys, I got it past my hardcore through the first probably most dangerous obstacle, um... in runescape in the beginning for hardcore which is the stronghold of security i'm now going to get my boots and get the heck out of here um let's get these colorful ones awesome all right guys so yay that's done that was kind of stressful and the cash is always nice rune mysteries completed okay guys i'm about to finish ernest ernst Ernest the Chicken. This is required for the quest Animal Magnetism, which later gives you that accumulator. So I just kind of want to knock it out. Poor chicken. He's got beautiful, beautiful uh, blue feathers, though. So let's turn it all in. I think, though, I have to talk to the professor and then go talk to his wife outside. Oh, there we go. Nice. I'm going to go talk to his wife. Oh, never mind. There we go. Four quest points. Has quite a lot of quest points as a reward. I'm now at 25 quest points. Um, I may do the knight sword. I'm not too sure. I can't remember, but yeah, we're going to do some more quests and then um, head over to Arduin. Alright guys, I finished Gertrude's cat. Oh, I don't even know what rewards I got, but cool. Um, so it looks like um, I got a kitten, which is great because you can turn them in for 200 death runes later. Got a black cat, which is like my favorite color, so I got kind of lucky there. Um, so what I'm going to do is save this chocolate cake because you need it for the quest A Tale of Two Cats, I think. And um, of course you can make one, but it's just nice to have in the bank ready to go for when I do that quest. And now that I have a cat... Sounds great. Um, I can turn it in for death ruins and everything like that, so that will be great. And we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so in this clip I completed the Plague City quest, which is required for the Easy Artie Diary. Alright guys, so I just wanted to make note that a lot of people are wondering, as a hardcore Iron Man, what's the safest way to get to Arduin? And doing quests and everything like that to get the Artie Easy Diary, I go over here in Remington and I use this Arduin uh, boat travel and basically this carrier will take me to Arduin for 30 coins and basically that's the safest route rather than using the lever or anything like that. Alright guys so in this clip I completed Biohazard which is the quest that you do after Plague City. Biohazard is required for the easy Arduin diary and since Plague City is a requirement before it I just did Plague City then Biohazard, and basically it allows you to enter the fight arena, which is required for the Arty Easy Diary cloak. Alright, I finished the Arty Easy Diary. 
So, and my cat has grown, so we can sell the cat. That's pretty sick. I think this is who I talked to for the cape. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Very, very good. Oh, fuck. I don't have any. There we go. Sounds good. Um, I got this cloak, which is the shit as an Iron Man. So, oh my gosh, huge upgrade. We're going to use that on Ruin Crafting. Oh, 30? You have to have 30 in a skill before you can use this thing. Are you serious? Holy moly. I'll probably use it. I don't know. Probably save that lamp then. But I'm going to go turn in this cat for 200 death runes. And yeah, guys, that's huge. That's a huge achievement. So we're going to go ahead and end this progression video at this time. Because I feel like that that's just a huge achievement. And I'm super excited. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching episode 1. I'll see you in the next episode. We got some really good progress. You know, the Arty Cloak 1 is a pretty big deal. You know, getting... Uh, 34 quest points is huge, so we definitely got some gains. I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.